Hello everybody, Marcus here. What's happening? And Jamie. <laughs> Jamie was fixing her hair. I know, you didn't tell I me. I pressed live too quick. You didn't tell me. She was, was like, like, my hair, my hair. It got very windy where we Need are. Need to step down, so. need to step up a little bit. There we go. Oh, so much. There we go, so yeah. Okay. All right, there's our notification going out that we're live. Hi everybody. We're walking up this hill here. Yeah, you're out of breath now. But look at that view. <laughs> Just look at, come on Yeah, this yeah, way. yeah, let's go this way. So we've been here before. We've been here before. We've been here before. So look at that view. Look at that view. Look at all the grapes here. There's actually, well, they're, they're just now starting to harvest up yep. here in the Finger Lakes. So um, you can see these are little grapes. Some of them are, some of them are already turning. Look at that. Yep. Look at that. Look at that. So thanks everybody for watching us. I appreciate it. If you are watching us live, you can put hashtag live in the comments. If you're watching on the replay, hashtag Tag replay. replay. Um, we are, are, I don't know what the title was. What did you say the title was? Uh, where are we? Where are we? Where are we? We're in <laughs> Cuca Lake at McGregor Vineyards. Um, this, the McGregor Vineyards is one of the oldest vineyards up here. Uh, great history, still family owned, same owners. And um, they were like the people who... Not, I don't want to say they're the people who brought the grape Saparavi to um, to the Finger Lakes. Saparavi is a grape from the country of Georgia. There we go. I'm better sitting this way. <laughs> Uneven yeah. ground. There they brought Saparavi, which is a dark red grape, red flesh um, grape from the country of Georgia, one of the oldest grapes in the world to make wine with, and they're doing quite well with Saparavi here and other vineyards now. It used to be called Russian Red, right? Um, that's what they refer that's to it as to. because nobody knows the name of Saparavi. You don't walk into a wine shop and say, hey, I want a bottle of Saparavi. Yeah, it's not a, it's not a normal <laughs> right. wine or grape that you would actually go and say, so hey, they I had, want So they that. had to sort of apply a trade name to it, which is what's a red Russian grape. Um, to, sort of like Chilean sea bass. Chilean sea bass is called Patagonian toothfish. But you never walk into a, a restaurant and say, oh, I'd like the filet of Patagonian <laughs> toothfish. It's yeah. much sexier to say, I'll have the Chilean sea bass. So same thing with the Saparavi grape. It's just don't renew it. So you call it the Red Russian. And all of a sudden, I'll have a glass of Red Russian with my ribeye steak tonight, as opposed <laughs> to Saparavi with my ribeye steak. So one of those things. Uh, but they're renamed, they're reintroducing the name Saparavi because slowly. people are recognizing People are recognizing it now, yeah. People are, are noticing it and they, they understand it a little bit more. I gotta tell you, I think a few months ago when we were up here was the first time we really heard about Saparavi. Is that correct? Had you heard about it before? We had heard about it. But we had never tasted it. But now it's, we, we have tasted or... it in the past. But now it's becoming much more popular. Okay. Other vineyards are making it. Dr. Frank had it at one point. They never really made anything with it, I don't think. Well, for me, it was my first Standing time Standing Stone. having it, I think. Standing Stone has it. Other mm -hmm. other vineyards are now are now making it. So um, so it's been more and more popular. Um, our views are fantastic They're here. Really I mean, it's fantastic. just so it's just great. We're spending the day today out um, here in the Finger Lakes with uh, some friends, actually. Oh, friends, yep. Um, we brought some friends up to some of our favorite wineries. And, um, you know, I'm not going to do a big plug, but if you want to travel with Marcus and I up to, um, to uh, the Finger Lakes, we will be traveling, hopefully, November 5th through the 7th, uh, Friday to a Sunday. We'll be staying in Watkins Glen, and um, we are going to take you to our friend's when I made the reservation and she was like, oh my gosh, I was just thinking about you. I totally want to come to your restaurant. I'm totally going to get down there. And oh my gosh. And just so knowledgeable and just so appreciative. And, and so it was great. It was really great to, to walk in and be like, oh my gosh, I was just thinking about you guys. Right. You know, I'm so glad you guys are here. So, so, um, I am going to give a plug. Okay, go ahead. Because today <laughs> we are, you know, we're doing four wineries today. So of course, there's no way we could even drive today. We're on our second winery. Yeah. I could drive right now, I think. Well, well there's no we way. Really we, 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 we're, we're, just, we're, we're doing we're flights, but it. there's no way that I would go to three wineries, four wineries, and sample all, all the, the flights. Wines. I go to wineries, and if I'm driving, I spit everything out, and I'm very, very cautious. Or you don't taste them. Or I don't taste. Uh, like the other day, we went to the wineries, and I was very cautious. Mm -hmm. So today, we are partaking and, and, and drinking, and we're using a great service up here called Main Street Drivers. For $42 an hour, we have a driver all day, as long as we want, to drive our car wherever we want. Knowledgeable on wines, knowledgeable on area, lives up here. Um, 42 bucks an hour to have our own driver all day is a and home not run. not worry about Not worry about it. <laughs> so, folks, that is the same business that we offer in the Hudson Valley. We can send a, a fully licensed, insured driver to your location to drive your car, $42 an hour, take you to the wineries, take you to food and wine festivals, take you to 
cheese farms. Take you wherever you want to go. And you don't have to worry about driving drunk influenced, intoxicated, do not have it's to no work. It's a no-brainer. It's a no-brainer. It's a no-brainer. It is so worth it to spend six hours or four hours or however many hours you want going to wineries and not have to worry about getting behind the wheel of the car and getting a DWI. It is so damn expensive. And let me tell you something, it is not worth it. Or you'll it. hurt somebody. Or you'll hurt, right, it's not worth Yourself it. Yourself or somebody else. And it is so worth it. And and I highly, highly recommend it. So, yep. so 272. 2070. You can call and speak to our daughter Courtney, Courtney, and she'll get you lined up with a driver. Uh, the business just started the summer, and we're getting phone calls every day. We booked we three drivers yesterday alone. Yep. Another lady called today to book another session. Um, so we'll do this all throughout the Hudson Valley. We'll take you to the wineries. Whether you know where you're going or whether you need help, we'll, we'll, we can do all of that. If you have larger parties, 8, 9, 10, 12, 20 people, we can help you out as well. Mm -hmm. We can really help you out as well. Um, drink wine all day, go on a bus, games, raffles. Uh, food, all kinds of things, 150 bucks a person. Uh, we can help you out with that too. It's so, so, worth so it. call us for that as well. Peace of mind, so, right? Peace, peace of mind, mind yeah. is very yep, worth yep, yep. it. So I'm gonna hold that for a minute. My arm sure. is like, absolutely. Oh. Ah, my yep, hand is in mine. There. there we go. All right. Oh wow, I've never done a Facebook Live where I haven't had to hold. The... That's not true because last time we were here, did you hold it? Vineyard, I held you held it, it same place. <laughs> um, so that's it, folks. We are gonna um, get we're gonna back get to... back to tasting and, and get to our next winery. Um, but we appreciate everybody listening to us and watching us tonight. We have jazz at the restaurant um, at 630. John Simon and friends will be in the back garden area. And um, oh, and our, our $9.99 special this week is um, two sliders. So a barbecue chicken slider and a meatloaf slider with blue cheese uh, served with potato and coleslaw. Um, coleslaw, potato salad and coleslaw. That is to go um, $9.99. We, of course, have our regular menu to go. Um, and, uh, you know, if you want to come eat with us this weekend, please give us a call, 647-3000. Place your order, make a reservation, and, um, and yeah, we'd be happy to have you. Yep. So. so March, March, November 5th to the 7th, we'll be up here. We have, what, two spots left, maybe? We have a few spots left, A few yes. spots left to join us. Uh, here in the Finger Lakes, we wine and dine you all weekend long. We take care of everything, uh, limo bus, uh, food, wine tastings, everything. It's going to be a great time. And we'll be at this vineyard right here at William McGregor. Yep. It won't be quite as green, but we'll have the same view, looking at the same lake, um, having a it great time. It might not time. be as warm. I don't want to be as warm. If it's, <laughs> you never know, actually. You never in know. the beginning of November, you never know. Right. So thanks, everybody, for watching. We really appreciate it. Um, if you are watching us live, put hashtag live in the comments. The more comments we get. What is your favorite vineyard up in the Finger Lakes? What is your favorite New York wine? Drop a comment, and um, we will catch everybody later. I don't believe that I will be on at 4 o'clock, but you never know. We might be somewhere where I might do a Facebook Live. So catch me maybe at 4 o'clock today. Have right, folks. a wonderful day. Enjoy, and we will talk to everybody soon.